In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a hall tree. First, I'm going to start with grabbing a 2x2. Two two. I'm going to cut 4 at 12 inches, and then I'm going to cut 2 at 7 and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and put some pocket holes into some of those shorter 7 and a quarter 2x2s. Two that way I use pocket screws to be able to attach those to the other 2x2s, two the 12 inch ones, to be able to actually make the legs for this. Then I'm going to grab my ash plywood and go ahead and cut a 10 and a half by 11. And then I'm going to cut a 1x2 that's going to be 8 inch. It's going to be 4 of those. And a 1x2 that's going to be 11 inches. And also 1x3 that's going to be 10 and a quarter. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab that 4 foot 1x12 and go ahead and put that up there. This will actually be the seat. And I'm just going to use some wood glue to hold that down. And also some finishing nails using an inch and a half to give it a good bond and give it a chance for that glue to set up real good. I'm going to take two of those 1x3s I cut at 10 and a quarter. I'm just going to put a design on there for me to be able to cut out my jigsaw. Just to kind of give it a nice uh, kind of look to it. Uh, whatever design you use, you can just put the first one on top of the second one. That way you can have a template and they both look exactly the same. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on the bottom here and put my 8 inch 1x2s, my 11 inch 1x2, and also my 1x3 here that I cut out with a jigsaw. I'm going to attach these. I'm going to put a little bit of glue and go ahead and put some finishing nails and go ahead and put those on each side. Now I grab my one by eight by four and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my quarter inch straight router bit and go ahead and send that down the router there and give it a nice groove for that plywood to be able to sit in there and give a good hold to. Now I'm gonna grab a two by two and I'm gonna go ahead and use my saw to cut in like a three eighths kind of gap here. So I can slide the board right in there. I'm gonna grab my 3 8 by 6 by 4 and go ahead and use my jigsaw to kind of give it a round cut off here and make it look nice. And, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in those 7 inch 2 by 2s that I cut out and glue and finish now those. Grab my 1 by 8 that I used my router to cut that quarter inch groove in. Go ahead and use that and grab my 2 by 4 sheet of ash plywood. Go ahead and put that in there. Grab my 1 by 6 that I cut a quarter inch groove in. Put that on top. Grab my 1 by 6 for a uh, top shelf portion there and go ahead and screw staple that down here i'm making some shelf brackets out of wood if you're interested how i did this i'm going to put a link in the description i'll make my own shelf brackets here as you can see and i'm going to go ahead and use these to glue and finish nail those to the top portions kind of give it a nice look and um, also keep it with wood it kind of keeps it all tied together whenever i stain and paint it i cut out two one by twos at 34 and a quarter and four that are at four inch and this would be some of the finishing trim pieces here i'm going to put on the outside edges also for the bottom here i'm, I'm using a three eighths inch piece of board here about seven inches long just again kind of put a curve into it give it a different look then i grabbed a 48 and three quarters one by three put a design on it use a jigsaw to cut it out just kind of again kind of give it more of that curvy look to it and the more curve and less straight edge you have on wood the different look you can kind of give to it after that I'm, i went over it with 120 grit sandpaper pretty much the whole thing just kind of get rid of any rough edges kind of smooth all the corners out and now i'm just starting to apply my stain um, i'm just kind of using a red oak stain here for the seat and a side trim piece here and then also i'll use some of that same stain for the top portion um, the very top shelf portion and also the front board there to kind of have that curve cut out to it and then after that i'm going to white paint the rest of it i'm um, just kind of give it a good contrast between the red and the white now i'm just applying some tape to kind of cover up the red portion that i stained that way i can uh paint over it and not get as much paint on as I try not to get on there and I just go ahead and use a white paint to finish painting the rest of it here
And here's the final product. Just kind of a simple, smaller haul tree. And I want to put some hardware on there for some hooks. That way I can have some places to hang up some coats and bags and things.